are we really playing a game of cat and mouse and a sort of tit for tat of who has more spiritual authority over another because for whatever reason some of you people are dead set on positioning yourselves in a position of power first and foremost that being your bottom line and being also number two a position of authority and or more authority over anyone else i'm going to say that's a earth sign characteristic correct me if i'm wrong or an earth element characteristic or people that have earth a lot in their chart now I've had experience with quote unquote earth signs, just like somebody in my immediate surroundings has experience with earth signs, just like my own mother for 20 something odd years had experience with earth signs, and just like I've had an experience with a fire earth cusper before too, just so people know. That apparently they're not aware of what and who I've, I've in, uh, encountered in my life, all the myriad of different people of all walks of life all shapes and forms, whether male or female, it doesn't matter. Creeps and freaks alike. Anything under the freaking sun. Because nothing's new under the sun. Yeah, I don't play a nor care to participate in tit for tat, right? And I haven't had an interest in it for like actually a while. Mind you, I still randomly peek my head in and kind of like to stir up the pot. Okay. Um, at random with people, in particular readers, right? Yeah. Um, people's emphasis on spirit guides, I don't quite understand. Um, that's kind of one of those things where... It's kind of like that monkey see, mo monkey do mentality of, of people more or less stuck and set on, on playing it safe is correct. As long as I kind of mimic other people, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the clear. Uh, yeah, I know. They act like I wasn't supposed to know anything. They've been acting like that. Just like readers have been gaslighting me back to back by weaponizing truth and weaponizing information to kind of like use that information as like this like barrier so that I am not heard. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, it's like the definition of someone or someone's building like a fort and they're like, with use it by using information for their little building blocks. Yeah, I know. To keep people, um, to keep, I guess, people from, like, seeing you or whatever. Some shit like that. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, it's like using information to gaslight people. So, as you're doing your own thing, so you think of, like, one of two readers, right? So, I'm here in the little middle, right? The monkey in the middle? Okay. So, as I'm in the middle, monkey in the middle, there would be one of, let's say, one of two readers or three even. Because, let's face it, I'm a crystal disco ball yeah mirror hayoka thing way to go you know uh you know it's like they're coming around it's like a revolving door yeah yeah so it's like coming around constantly woo, woo, revolving door right side swipe side swipe you know yeah and it's using information to, to basically more or less as long as they they establish their position of power and a position of authority, then they're good. Yeah, it, therefore, if that's your bottom line, first and foremost, especially in regards to another actually um, uh, ancient primordial being in consciousness with spiritual authority, you're, you're only doing yourself uh, injustice in the end because of whatever you're stuck on and set on and perceiving that said individual is uh, creating a, a sort of blockage, right? Self-explanatory? Okay, so whatever your hang-ups are with that individual for whatever reasons, yes. Uh, 
but no, I, I didn't really care to keep um, participating, in all honesty, uh, with readers, like I said, because place it where it goes, this is timeless or whatever, it can apply to more than one. one. Um, it's been this, um, like I said, some of them more so than others, yes. Their bottom line being positioning themselves in a position of authority always over me in particular yeah it's kind of like this like um thing of like you know i'm top bitch not you bitch you know that sort of like uh mentality attitude you know approach to things covertly yeah they don't they're not going to come out and express it and say it but you I mean that that is the the said um you know yeah demeanor and whatever it's always there covertly yeah some people more so than others but yeah i know spirit uh spirit guides yeah i've never called them that it's been like something people have, you know to each their own i'm not here to get into uh telling people what to do and in, in political correctness with that but um yeah because it's me respecting cre creators on an individual basis um, but, cause obviously I'm all like all over the place or whatever and have been. Yeah, I've, I've never heard them say that on the other side. That's why I'm trying to understand it. Just like, um, people made a big deal that focus on, what is it? Ocean and Orishas and stuff. Was that like Afrocentricism or whatever? Yeah, rather than, um even older ancient cultures mind you i'm not an expert on or or orishas or ocean or anything like that yeah it's kind of just like um people wanting to just i guess worship the melanin form of the feminine over the other one really so it's like a like it's part of the bias favoritism stuff too and it's also part of uh guilt so yeah, be mindful that that's not playing out and manifesting. So it's like, you know, make sure it's coming from like a genuine place. I'm meaning i.e. more like from the other side, not from your your uh, your physical flesh because it's already, Melanin already knows this about their own, that they're biased. Yeah, and all you gotta do is watch like a Vice documentary on the internet or whatever. Um, yeah, and it has nothing to do with, uh, what is that, um, swastika and or the Star of David, I and mean, yeah, or Hebrews and stuff like that. Yeah, it's true. So, I don't know, it's like, it's, I, I don't know if I want to say that it's so much as fake, but, you know, I have to, like, look into it further, but I'm just basing stuff, I'm not basing it off of, like, what I wish to perceive in the world or colorblind shallow thing or the melanin bias thing. So because that I'm not um, as much melanin in a sense, right? Okay, I've yeah, that's why, um, I don't know that maybe that's why they uh, make a big deal about the Aryans still. Because apparently, and I'm not saying it's this case in all cases with melanin people because there's there are those that are in the collective that are actually very educated and more open-minded than the norm yeah they are it's just like they, it speaks for itself still but yeah it doesn't mean that there's not still that going on so you can be also an individual that's um you know, more open-minded or outspoken about things and stuff like that and still have your your own, I guess, um, belief system. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm still having to learn the channeling thing. It's like, they go from like a completely... They'll put out information from a completely detached uh, state of existence. Yeah. Point of reference. So it's just complete detachment and flow. Yeah, it's like a, it's an art form that I myself have yet to delve into or what have you or master or anything like that. Yeah. Um... A, 
anyway, um, I don't, like I said, I don't care nor appreciate people dead set on just, um, being in competition with me, um, acting like I don't have any spiritual authority, acting like I couldn't possibly know what I'm talking about because they themselves are just either jealous because the fact of the matter is I'm actually an int intellectual type individual. Yeah, whether they wanted to admit to that to themselves or not is irrelevant. Um, you know, all, all this myriad, myriad of things, um, getting off uh, tangent here, sidetracked here. I don't know how I get like that. People can be like trying to interrupt or something too, I don't know. I know like they control stuff. Uh, there's like a protective barrier or something. Unite the Collective talked about it like a while ago. Yeah, um... No, it's like I'm not going to keep perpetuating in that or perpetuating that, participating it in it with people, because quite frankly, it's like, I just don't care anymore. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm tired of, I'm just tired of people, because I realize with certain ones, place it where it goes or whatever, it's been too much of this, 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 um, top dog, top bitch, top dog mentality with these broads, in, in not so much of, in dog eat dog, and make, wanting to make sure that they always position themselves in a position of authority over me to, like, muffle me out. Yeah, and to gaslight me with information. And it's like, you really realize in the end of the day, like, what exactly and who and what you're dealing with. Because in, in it's it boggles my mind because, yeah, you can be a spiritually awakened person. Yeah. And, and, and basically be a bully, Yes. Yeah, it's the use of information to bully another person, to undermine them, and, and also to gaslight them, just just for the sake of, of 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 you know positioning your own ass in the position that you want. Yeah, it's it's a dog eat dog sort of approach and mentality that's been manifested into the reality. So it's like you know, it's like it's like some. I don't know, certain stereotype or whatever. You got different stereotypes and archetypes of feminines. It's like you got a specific archetype or archetypes of feminines trying to to go go at it with with a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, like a ba the baby cyclops thing. You're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm like detoxing iPad to do it again. I don't know where all these heavy metals are coming from. 1313. Yeah, the, my liver. It's all black, so it's from my liver. Just my liver. Yeah, I don't have any red particulates, particles, cellular debris lately at all. No, no orange, red. Yeah, it's just straight black. Yeah, um... No, it's like... It, it's I'm just so over it. it it's just my it's just all so mind-boggling to me I guess you know yeah and it's actually really sad because it's like um people I've had readers that out of all the people in the collective yes I've been attacked most by readers is correct yeah and of the melanin the melanin feminine females yes yeah, there there was only primarily, I'm going to say there's one that the main one people watch that people know of. I don't have to mention her name. Um, there is plenty of times where I'd say she's stuck up for me, she, but she won't mention, you know, names or whatever. But, you know, like she'll be talking about you, to you or, or about you or whatever. Okay, but there was one main one that truly stuck up for me, yeah. Yeah, in regards to her. So it's, I'm realizing too that even if you, people are spiritually awakened and whatnot, it doesn't mean that they're actually on your side. Yeah, so I mean, the I mean, let's face it, the collective has been divided really, and it's just people, creators off in their own spaces doing their own things. Yeah, disconnected. 
Yeah, um... But, no, on the topic and subject of, uh, the thing is, readers have been calling out readers. So, if God gives you the go-ahead and you feel what you're bringing to the table is sound and you have the green light, yeah, you can bring it to the table. This isn't an all-inclusive VIP club of, well, if you're not a reader, you have no fucking spiritual authority and you don't fucking know what you're talking about. That's what some of y'all are really saying without saying it. Just because people want to prop themselves up in a position of power, in a position of authority over me, and they'll do so and also simultaneously gaslight the shit out of me, like, I can't figure that shit out. Like, no. That's... What I just expressed is just me channeling, really, an individual, yeah. That, like, that's what they're act. that's how they're acting, that's what they're saying, without saying it, yeah. It's disguised as a bunch of information. It's retranslated and disguised as a bunch of information. Yeah. Forgive me, forgive me not for possessing my own said mental faculties at my said own disposal in this godforsaken said meat suit here. Meat appendage of sorts. It doesn't work that way. So no. I refuse to be continually gaslit by anyone. I refuse to be continually undermined by anyone. Whether you people will ever consider what I bring to the table as valid or relevant or important is irrelevant. Because all I gotta do is pop my little cute little fucking mixed fucking ass over here. Prop myself up and then all I gotta do is turn you into a step stool. Because that's what they've been doing on and off to each other for a while anyway. What to to always give them a position of power. They the use of other energies and people to do that. Yeah. No. So if God wants me to speak on something, then I'm going to speak on something. Just like the rest of y'all have been doing this entire time, correct? I don't got stupid written on my forehead. I don't got bitch written on my forehead. And I don't got illiterate written on my forehead. Do you see anything stamped that's manifested on my forehead? No, you don't. It's completely blank and normal like it's supposed to be. No, I refuse to play. I got more authority than you, bitch. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're not flipping fancy cars everywhere. Flip, 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 Yeah, and then they say Eve is is robotic. Then explain y'all. I've been freestyling it the whole time. I thought you guys were so gangster and so about the 90s time period and the 2000s and whatever else. What happened? I know it's funny. All you gotta be is the little Joker card, Trump card, and they all start to fucking spaz out and shit. Because they can't actually emulate your uh, European 
airy inside for shit, which is true. Oh no, they turned the hood into their uh, personality template. You're so original! Hey, I get it. You're, 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 you're placing yourself in the rigidness of the said, uh, in order to gain, uh, what is it? mass to like you know polish down and refine just ever so slightly in the end in the grand scheme of things but anyway what i'm really trying to get out here is i am nibbling simultaneously um, in regards to another reader I watched last night, um, yes, it was something I needed to touch on. So, I don't need readers trying to lecture me, like, treating me like I'm an infantile person. Like, you're not making any fucking sense in saying that a reader knows what to say and what not to say and whatever. You're putting the reader on a pedestal over me. And giving them more authority as another thing, just so it, no matter what, that I am invalidated and not heard and gaslit. Just because it's like you're basically, in other words, saying you have a problem with the fact of me claiming my own spiritual authority. That is not a problem that I'm going to make my problem. But I'll happily speak on this stuff, yeah, because, like I said, if God wants me to speak on something, then I'm going to just go and do it. Nobody can stop me from that. I'm not stopping and haven't been intervening, or at least the best of my ability, when it comes to other people, especially readers, mind you, of all people, when, yeah, when they genuinely truly need to get messages out there to the right people at the right times correct so why is it that i'm constantly being berated and stifled and stunted and people kind of constantly fronting at me you know trying to push me out of the way you're not making any sense whatsoever when i don't know you people personally i never did anything to you I don't do tarot cards. It doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm talking about. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't touch on something or fill in the gaps. It's the same thing that you guys have been doing the entire time. What is so different of me, Mallory, here doing the same sort of work in my own way? What is the problem? What is the problem with me knowing what to, to, to touch on? What is the problem? Just like anyone else in their own rights. I don't understand. You know, I don't care to be continually gaslit and undermined by people or interrupted, nonetheless, by people, i.e. certain readers, one accusing me of eating my boogers in the past because of readers trying to capitalize on opportunities and fit stuff in in a short period of time because they know after a period of time they're not going to be able to. Timeless? Or saying that I was saying that I t mentioned me being raped by a sugar daddy. When I've never been raped by a sugar daddy. But I was molested as a, a, a child by a babysitter's son and a friend. Or fondled. 
to be politically correct and swung around butt naked like a human jump rope. Yeah, I can talk on my life experiences. I have that right. I don't need to be interrupted and lectured by people unless I really need to be interrupted and lectured by people. Yeah, it's like, I don't understand why me of all people is such a big deal for some of these people. Because I don't, I rarely pay attention to them unless I really have to. Yeah, I've actually like, was starting to really step back more and more and more. And just like, mind my own business, yeah. While still watch people and learn from them or whatever do my own research or have my own experience with whatever yeah but no um a reader not mentioning something in a read purposely for whatever reasons right the topic the subject of that um yeah you can be you're causing someone, you can be causing someone, either way you look at it, yes, is, is suffering. Yes. So, connecting one point to the other is Hammurabi law, right? Okay. So, either way, it's suffering. But, at the same time, to me, if you ask me, if someone needs to know about something that they don't know, I'd rather someone tell me it than not know. I already got the, the inappropriate, uh, on the other side, like, thought or whatever the other night, so I know what more or less a reader could indeed be referring to. But no, it's like you're leaving it up to a person's imagination. Um, yeah. So, no, yes, it's like, basically, it's, they're keeping the truth away from someone. That's what readers have been engaging in at any given point in time. I'm referring to different readers. They'll, they'll, they'll blame it on their spirit guides or whatever as a means to, um, if they can also keep you where they want you and keep you in a lie or suffering, then that's what they have been doing. While simultaneously putting stuff out there to help people or under the guise of helping people is correct. If they, if you really want to get politically correct here, and this is just based off of me observing different people in real life time, is correct. Place it where it goes. So, I already know they don't necessarily genuinely necessarily care for me, nor do I expect them to completely or fully or anything like that. So, don't try to come at me and go in a tit for tap. An a, a, a authority fighting authority to have more authority thing when I am actually coming from even more of a position of compassion because when you come from more of a position of the indomitable spirit and compassion and or the Christ twins because there's two of them Gospel of Thomas Star of Bethlehem Mary made, Mary made a wish to Christ for a rebellious child, Mary of Bethany, El Nino, hence El Nino candles in the hoods, typically. Um, you know, don't don't try to come at me and argue with me just because you want to make me look infantile and, and put keep me you know like go down bitch go down stay down bitch stay down stay down that's what they do 
got bulldog type feet, bulldog females. That's what they do. The bulldog priestess ain't got shit on the unicorn. I didn't think I had to actually come online and actually tell some of you people this fact, but apparently I, I do. Besides me, little but slowly but surely, even though I've been a sloth and a turtle, uh, ascending and transcending, you know, shape shifting, blah blah blah. No. Yahshua, the Christ twins, indomitable spirit, and compassion are always going to basically win in the end of the day. There's just, there's nothing to argue there. And by the way, let me get this out there too, because I know how much do people like to make yourselves exclusive and VIP and all this stuff when it comes to the other side. Um, if they say that there's people talking to them or whispering in their ears constantly or stuff like that, it's a lie. Figured I'd get that out of the way too. But anyway, I'm not playing authority wars with any of you broads. I'm not going to be gaslit. It doesn't matter whether you care to validate me or not. It doesn't care whether you, it doesn't matter whether you want to be my friend or not. None of these things. Y'all can be exclusive too. That's fine. I'm not going to say you don't have your reasons at times to keep certain information to yourselves. It's also about respecting your privacy and sacred space and your ancestry, right, from whomever sh doesn't need to know about it. But when you're acting like that, too, with someone, i.e., like myself, you do not make any sense whatsoever. So I'm going to call that out right now, too. I know divine timing's at play, too. Don't even get me started on all kinds of stuff. 